Hey YouTube, it's your boy Widgie here. Do you want to see the Mexican DLC cards one by one in great granular detail so you can get an idea of how this sieve is going to play out when it's released? Well, you're in luck. Let's jump into it. Okay guys, here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to, let's copy the beginner and we'll call it test, right? Okay, here we go. So we've got 21 cards available. I won't comment my stream in here. I respect my man Widgie too much. <laughs> That's all right, dude. Don't worry about it. Okay. So let's have a look at age one cards, shall we? Let, let's go through them. Let's see the unusual ones that we haven't seen before. So the first one here, we have the Hacienda Wagon. Now the Hacienda, I'm here enjoying this content for now. Awesome stuff, man. Appreciate it. So the Hacienda Wagon is a wagon, is a building that costs 600 wood and it generates cattle and you can switch between food and gold. So it can collect food and gold. And it's kind of crazy because this one is the one that's crazy, I think. It's 600 wood, essentially, plus two settlers, which I think is absolutely nuts. So if I was going to go for a card, I'd go for this one. So I'll definitely have that in age one, most likely. Uh, let's have a look at some of the newer cards here. We have, we have a team card. Ships a random selection of resource crates to each member of your team. More resources are delivered if the card is sent in a later age. Okay, interesting team card there. I'm not going to go for that. If we're looking at a 1v1... That is not what I'm going to be picking. The uh, Barbaco, what's this? Haciendas fatten livestock faster and will automatically harvest them when fully fattened. Wow. So the gather work rate for the Hacienda for the cows is 25%. That's really good. So let's actually leave that on. Let's leave that. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, the Comandante improves your Mexican general and Padre in combat. Enables their Sabre strike charged ability early as well. We don't know how insane that Saber Strike is. It's an ability in age four that you can get. Basically, age one factories. Yeah, it pretty much is. Pretty much is. Um, but I guess they remind me a little bit of the um, community plazas in a way that you've got to really decide when to move your villagers over to them so that you can start generating cattle. So there's a decision there of when to start getting more cattle in. You know, probably when you're transitioning, I would imagine that you want to switch it over to getting cattle. Anyway, so you've got all, you've got hero, all actions, damage increases and hit points. We're going to leave that one out for now. Hot air balloon. I'm just seeing if there's anything unusual. We've got the Queen's Dragoons. Dragoons inflict more damage and may be recruited in the Commerce Age. So there's actually no stats on how much buy. That's strange. Dragoons just inflict more damage and may be recruited in the Commerce Age. That's actually pretty good if you want to play Age 2 and you want to have an anti-cav unit. That's kind of nuts. Queen's Dragoons. So if you want to go more age two, maybe the Queen's Dragoons is a is a card that you want. Uh, the Banderas. Uh, we will have to test these those goons. We definitely will, Pago. Yes, Banderas Monumentalis. So this is inspiring flags are upgraded to their Imperial Age area of effect. What? Jesus. I don't know how significant that is. I mean, Imperial Age area of effect. So does that increase the the area, not the actual impact of it? Goons are skirm in Age 2 are a powerful combination. Yes, definitely. Anks, thank you very much, dude, for the follow. Welcome to the firm. Come on in. Welcome, everyone. We're, we're just going through all the decks. We're going through the cards. We're going to try and see if we can scramble some sort of 1v1 deck and, and see what we can do and, and how we're going to play this Civ. So... Hope you guys can join me for that. So Rancheros enables the Haciendas to spawn um, Cuteros. Cuteros or Cuteros. I mean, th these names, man. They're absolutely murdering me here. I wish I was part Spanish. I've got no idea. So these, um, or Quaterios, I'm not too sure what unit they are. Enables Haciendas to spawn them. So uh, I think they're the, um, they're the, sort of cowboy unit you can see there so that's interesting i can help you pronounce it cheers bugger if you wish if you wish it yes i definitely do uh arrives fast for this says arrives fast so i think you just, just get this one in quicker for 30 seconds all military buildings and units go fast wow okay that's kind of strange what a strange card that's another team card Let's have a look at this. You've got the Cathedral. That's another unique building as well. So ships one Cathedral wagon. Cathedral's train units and research technology is significantly faster. Okay, that could be quite a good card. I don't know whether it's an age one card, but we'll leave it. Um, what other stuff do we have? 
Palace of uh, Inchibride, is that one? Tower centers gain a powerful cannon attack. Oh my god, that does not require garrisoned settlers to be used. Jesus. That's nuts. Advanced saloons. Saloons now support population and can be constructed in the exploration age. Oh my god. Wow. Some sort of crazy saloon builds potentially. Uh, we've got dueling school. We know these ones. Schooners and everything. Uh, do my eyes deceive me or is this some kind of early access? It is, Nick. Correct. Welcome to the stream, man. Oh my god, look at this. The jalapeno peppers. What is this? Uh, arrives fast for a brief period of time. Villagers gather resources significantly faster from haciendas. Slightly improves rates permanently. So the time time limited boost, you get 250% for 30 seconds. Wow. And the gather work rate on the hacienda is increased by 5% if villagers are on it. But what a but what do the cattle do? Does the cattle just fatten? My boys made it. <laughs> Thanks, dude. So so if you have more cattle, does that increase the hacienda rate? Or does it just simply fatten the cattle? Uh, I, I, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so we've got Furrier. We've got Rum Distillery. We've got all the normal stuff here. Um, Whale, Gulf of Mexico here. Ships one dock wagon and briefly reveals the location of all fish. And coastal defenses, of course. So I'm going to stick with these two in age two. In age one, sorry. Let's have a look at age two. So let's get rid of all these. So we have the four settlers. We've got Chipotle Tactics. So that ships 500 food. Destroyed buildings grant you food. Uh, see, I'm not too sure if that's just a 500 food shipment. Really. I don't think that's really that good. Uh, I think we'll, we'll keep four settlers in there. And I think classic 700 wood. Do we need gold? Like if we do that age up that I mentioned, there's an age up there where you can transfer wood for gold. Maybe you just need to chop wood and then or just get a wood shipment and then use your wood shipment right instead of a gold shipment i don't know would you deserves it thank you very much i appreciate it guys welcome my boys made it uh okay so i'm just gonna go with the 700 wood 700 sorry 700 wood 700 gold i'm gonna go for 700 food and there's some team copper canyons here increases the uh, gather mine rate we do have some unique unit cards here so we've got the 12 insurgents they're the sort of pike units or the peasants good against cavalry and buildings so that might be something that we might want to go for uh we've got the uh the lancer unit there and we've got the uh saltidors the stealthy skirmishers i'm curious about that as well what are you curious about what is a whale what is a whale shipment uh oh sorry yeah whale shipment Infinite source of coin limited to four fishing boats. It arrives at your naval home city shipment point. Nice. 600 wood would give you 900 gold once you send the other card, to be honest. Yes, exactly. So it gives you... So if you went 700 wood, actually, it would, yeah, it would give you that. Yeah, it would give you 900 gold. So maybe... Maybe you don't need the 700 gold because you can just switch it out. But I think switching it out means that you've got to spend another... XP card, doesn't it? Can we see the new historical battle? Unfortunately, we cannot. No, we're not allowed. So we're under strict NDA not to show anything of the historical battle, I'm afraid, Giorgio. So that is something that's only going to be available when the game's fully out. So we, we can only really play skirmishes and multiplayer games, and that's that's all we can do, I'm afraid. Uh, so this is kind of interesting. Now, 700 wood for gold makes no sense. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, because basically what you want to do is you want to chop the wood in transition to age 2, and then you want to trade it, I think. That's what you want to do. And then maybe eat your cattle to get your food. And then you can get a really quick age three. But we'll, we'll put those three resource crates in here. I don't I don't know how much of a help. Maybe just go 700 food and then switch the gold out or, and something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we've got a few unit cards here. So we've got the machetes. Insurgent attack and movement speed is increased. 5% and 10%. I would gather slower than gold. That is true, actually. Kartoffel coming in there with the with the big brain. Uh, true. Very true. Maybe it's not worth it. Maybe it's not worth switching it. Maybe just going for the 700 gold and getting the food in. Just mine 300, ship 700. Makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. Observers. 
South tier doors gain more range and their attacks reveal enemies for a longer duration. There you go. So that's the, uh, I think that's these guys here. So skirmish unit. So we'll have a look at that. Uh, the ambuscade, which is the South tier doors again are stronger when nearby natural resources. We don't really know. Enables improved hit point aura. The plan of Takibua or Takibaya. So once again, all your Saudados transform into Dragoons. Dragoons are slightly stronger. Okay. Wow. That could be quite a crazy thing that you can do in Age 2. So you could do some Age 2 play where you, you get loads of these Saudados, uh, Saudados units. I'm not even too sure what the Saudados are. I'm sure we'll, we'll, be, able to, uh, we'll be able to find that out. Uh, let's, let's let's stick that in age two if we do need it. Uh, we have the native treaty, so we're going to go for that. The frontier defenses, the uh, presidios enables generals to construct outposts and an extra fort. All defensive buildings are cheaper and faster. Wow, that is actually quite cheap. Damn, that could be quite a good unit maybe for treaty players. Let's have a look. Keep going along. Plan of Iguala. We've got provides your cathedral with unique Mexican improvements. Okay. Let's go along here, see if we've got anything else. We've got the good old spice tray, we've got the agriculture, we've got the cigar roller, the naval gunners. Nice. 20%. To be honest, you probably just you're probably gonna want to go for the improved warships anyway. Hey Ace, where's the siesta? <laughs> the skirmish we, we just talked about, yeah. Uh yes. So the Admiral um Admiral Ad, Admiralty, sorry, Admiralty. Dark Warships improvements cost and research time significantly reduced. And we do have, oh, an interesting card here. Look at this, 250 food and wood ships, a number of powerful musketeers and enables them to be trained at forts. The uh, Creolos, Creolos units, look at those. That could be something, potentially. And the Renegade Comanche, ships nine uh, Comanche horse archers that inflict more damage to villagers than usual. Okay, so kind of maybe like a raiding party there, 250 food and 250 wood. Okay, so a lot of things requiring wood here, it seems. So maybe we could use the Haciendas to get some high wood production. And then we can maybe do something around around here to improve that. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to go for here. Uh, let's just go for a few of these units. And I don't know whether we should go for these guys. Maybe. Just something like that. Let's try. Let's just try something like that. Let's have a look at age three. So we can see we've got these, oh, these Saudados. They are the sort of standard musketeer unit, these Saudados. So I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong. So if we look at the ambush here, I think there was a, there was some sort of card that upgraded the Saudados here, but I'm not too sure what that was. I, should, I thought there was, I thought there was, maybe there's not. I don't think you need 700 food. Okay, we'll take that, we'll take it out. Okay, guys, why even use H3 cards? Kappa. Who knows? I don't know. Like, this is the thing. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this out. Um, but I am going to, we are going to have a look at the units a little bit more. So we're going to be just going into a skirmish on our own. And we're going to have a look at the units in more detail and get an idea of their stats and everything like that. So add church card. I want to know what you get. Okay, sure thing. Where is the church card? Where is the church card? Where's the church card? Agreed. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a look at the church. Is it this one here? There we go. Let's stick that in then. H3, let's have a look. We'll get two falconets just in case. I don't know why, but we'll do it. Uh, we'll get a thousand wood. And let's have a look here. See, these these 20 sheep could be kind of crucial for the Haciendas. So 20 sheep might be really good here. H2 church card. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Oh, the H2 one. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, the uh, this one provides your cathedral with unique upgrades. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. There we go. Let's have a look at H3. So let's get some units on the board. Let's get some um, the Saltadores. So these are the stealth, stealthy skirmishers. So I think they're going to be similar to the Jungle Prowlers from the Hout. Rung 1, H2, Church, Improvement Card, like the European ones. Yeah, this is one here, right? It's cathedral. That's the uh, that's the right one, right? I've got this one in age one as well, which gets me a cathedral right uh, cathedral wagon. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got the Saudados. 
They are the musketeer units. I think getting six of those. I mean, they do have grenades. I don't know how good that is, but I'm going to stick with the eight here. And I'm going to go for the five lancer units as well. I'm going to go for the lancer upgrade, which is very similar to the Spanish. Uh, we are running out of cards. We are running out of cards. Uh, let's just keep going along here. So we've got leather soldiers. So changes the coin cost of Mexican cavalry and infantry to wood. Wow. That's big. That's big because your haciendas can give you food or wood. So maybe that's something that we could use the haciendas. And you could switch the cost there. You can actually send it twice. Maybe send it again to swap it back. Got lots of high level plays here. This, this seems very... It's very scary. Very scary. We'll get cavalry combat. We'll get the Lancer increased damage as well for the uh, Chinakos. So the Chinakos are the Lancer units. North American Jungle Prowlers. That's it. That's it. Uh, let's have a look here. So we've got Guerrilla Tactics. Improves the Saltadores. That's the stealthy uh, sort of Jungle Prowler unit in combat and grants them with the Guerrilla Tactics big button. Okay. If not in combat... They will automatically be stealthy with no speed penalty for a short duration. And we do get... That's really good. It says rifle infantry. So does that... That's not just them. That's a really good card. That's a really good one, I think. That gives them extra hit points and damage. And it also gives you that ability there for your Saltadores units. Those are really, really pricey, by the way. Really pricey. I think they're like 90, 90 food, like 70 gold or something stupid. Okay, plan of Casamata. So all your Dragoons transform into Chinakos. Yep, okay. Hand cavalry uh, moves slightly faster. Interesting. It's another one of these crazy ones where everything transforms. So you could easily sort of switch it up if you if you needed to. Hey, Sepoy guy, New Mexico? Yes, indeed. Plan of Tux Tepec. All your Saltadores transform into Saltadores. Okay. And then they get a musket infantry all get a ranged attack increase and line of sight. Okay, so lots of this is oh my god. I feel like this um I feel like this is gonna be really high skill cap. What do you guys think? I think I don't know. I feel like this is very confusing. There's lots of things here that transform into things. We've got things that switch resource requirements. We've got it's not as straightforward as European civs. You know, and I don't think, I, I think it's more complicated than the US as well. Uh, a lot of things going on. A lot of things going on. So let's have a look at advanced artillery. So yeah, we've got the native warriors. We've got native warrior costs there. So you could do maybe a native warrior build. Well, that's in age three only. Colonial um, Estasius or Stasias. I don't see what's so difficult about making picky. Making picky. You don't know what's difficult. I don't know. It just seems a little bit daunting to me. Town centers provide so much population that you don't need houses. Increase population cap by 70. Wow. That is, that's crazy as well. Whoa, these cards, man. Absolutely crazy. Assassins. Spies become assassins. The rest of us don't have the tusks for it. Indeed. Spies become assassins, which do more damage to normal units and vastly more damage to war chiefs. Okay. We've got 10 spies there. Liberation March. All infantry and cavalry train and move faster. 30% reduction. Wow, that's a big one there. Seven Laws. All seven unique Mexican units and buildings grant significantly more XP uh, upon construction, as long as you own at least one of each. Jesus, that's a weird one. I don't think I'd ever go for that. Uh, Ninos Herios, or Heroes. Every time your general and padre gets knocked out, a militiaman spawns. Okay. Mexican Mint ships 500 coins and villagers gather coin from all sources faster. Do you think this one's worth it? What do you guys think? Do you think this is worth it? It's only a 500 coin shipment in age 3, but it gives you 15% increase. Yeah, I think it is. I think that's pretty damn good. That's a really good card. I think. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. I think I'm going to take out... Um, I'm going to take out this card here. And I'm going to go ahead and put this mint card in. It's kind of nice. Now, we have actually got a full deck here. Do we need age four stuff? 
I mean, I guess we do. But let's have a look at the final cards of age three and we'll have a look at age four quickly. So you've got refrigeration. You got the uh, a new card here, team card, the Nuo Nuovo Mexico territory. Not in 1v1, but in team, yes. Isn't usual deck size 25 or have I been away from this game too long? Uh, because the this sieve is very similar to the USA. So the reason you've only got 21 cards is because when you age up, you get two extra cards to use. So on your age up option, you get two new cards to use. So it does add to your deck. So that's why you only get 21. And it's that that's that same mechanic is in the USA. So Okay, so let's look at this one then. So we ships one covered wagon, which can be built in any age. All existing and newly constructed team town centers spawn one post wagon. Ooh, that's quite good. Uh, textile mill, we all, all know about that. European cannons. Okay, so we've got three final ones here. We've got this 500 wood, 500 uh, food. Ships a number of powerful cursors and enables them to be trained at forts. That could be really, really, really crucial, that one there. We don't know how, like they're, uh, okay, they're gendarms. Gendarm enabled. Wow. In age three, that could be absolutely insane. Uh, the Renegade uh, Navajo here ships 11 uh, Navajo riflemen that inflict more damage to villagers than usual. This card may be sent one time and it adds 0.75 to all action damage bonus against villagers. Okay. And the final one here, Mexican Standoff. Outlaw ranged attacks gain a chance to crit hit. We don't know what chance that is, but there is a chance. So that's interesting as well. Okay, final one, guys. Stick with me. You're doing great. Stick with me. We got the age four cards to go through. And what we're going to do after this, we're going to go into a game. We're going to enable cheats and we're just going to have a look at the units. We're going to see their stats, see their everything, and we're going to see what the hell's going on. So we'll do that. So here we go. So 600, 1600 food, 1600 wood, 1600 gold. And we've got the San Marcos Fair here. Ships three semi fat and cows and three more for each five minutes elapsed. Improves market food sell rate by 50%. Okay. Wow. Two covered wagons. We've got the advanced balloon. Uh, we've got the Chinakos here, the heavy cavalry arm with a lance. We've got these guys, eight and nine of them. We got a Liberty Dragoon Regiment there. One Dragoon, one Colv. Nine Soldados and two Falconets. 33 Insurgents. Also show all age up cards. Yes, will do. We will go over it again and we'll show all of the age up cards. 33 Insurgents. Jesus. I don't know if that's any good or not. I think really going just for the double factory wagon is probably the best thing. If, if we have access to it. Yeah, we got arrives, fire ships, one factory wagon, factory technologies and repairs are free. So yeah, factory hit points are doubled as well. This is probably a really good card. Really, really good card. So let's get rid of something here. Uh, let's get rid of the, maybe the 700 wood. Um, horse archers and powerful musketeers. Spanish musketeer enables them to be trained at forts. Let's go for the horse archers. We might need those a lot more. Uh, we've got to get that. We've got to get the double factory, surely. It has to be. Okay, refurbish firearms. The soldados gain a grenade launcher attack. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's the... Uh, the soldados are the... What unit are the soldados? They are these crazy units here. Where are they? Where are they? Come on. These? Yeah, they're the musketeer units, the Soldados. So they get a they get a grenade launch basically. Can you show the fourth card in H4 again? Yeah, sure. So the San Marcos Fair. So that ships three fattened cows and three more for each five minutes elapsed. So you kind of want to do that. That's obviously a late game card. It, pre it it also improves market food sell rates as well. So you can uh, sell a lot of your cattle. Not sell your cattle, but you can sell the food at the market a lot easier. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. It says you can get more gold and the wood goes down. Very, The sell factor is, yeah, market sell factor just on food only is increased. Let's have a look at some more of these. We have the Reservist, Re Reservistas. Equips all insurgents with musketeers. Oh my God, that's insane. That's insane. So you could go for some crazy sort of like 
33 insurgents, and then you could go for the reservist, reservistas. Um, that's kind of nuts. The presidial lancers. So the chinokos inflict more damage and gain a powerful charge attack. That's quite good. That could be quite good. Because if you want to go for these guys as your lancer unit, maybe getting this would be really, really good. Um, I think we might have too much in here. Personally, I don't know if the 20 sheep are actually going to be any good, but I think they might be good for the Haciendas. Um, maybe get rid of this. There we go. And then we'll go for... I mean, we could either go... We could go for this one here. Um, or we could just go for, like, double factory. So we get a factory wagon and then we get another factory wagon. For, like, really greedy builds. Who the hell knows? Let's move on. So we got the Man of Destiny. Your general now also boosts morale like the inspiring flag. You may also receive home city shipments and train soldados. Um, soldados. I don't even know how to pronounce that. It's real. I'm just going to say solds. Good old solds. Plan of uh, Veracruz. So Veracruz, sorry. All your outposts transform into field guns. Artillery gains slightly more line of sight. Okay. There's a lot of transformation with this deck. I can't remember the USA deck, but I don't know if it was as much as this. I think there's a lot of things transforming. Um, like here is another one here. All your insurgents transform into revolutionaries. Uh, there's another one here. All your Saltadores transform into powerful French Vol Voltigers, which are the um, French Skirm unit. I mean, it's, it's just nuts. A thousand wood and a thousand food, though. That's a lot of resources. Enables Haciendas to spawn Chinakos. Interesting. Uh, two Falconets. That might be really good with like all of these upgrades. So having your deck around the Chinakos uh, unit could be really good because they're good at skirms and they hold their own against cavalry. So they're good against cav and skirm. So you just need a skirm unit really. So you could go for the South Doors to be with the with the Chinakos and that could be quite a good composition. Uh, we've got two Falconets, two Mortars, two Culverins and two Mortars. Two Heavy Cannons. The Chimoa uh, Generizarios. Native Warriors are trained 10% faster and shipped 50% faster. Okay. Blood Brothers. It's another Native Warriors upgrade to champion level. Land of Hildalgo. Significantly improves the Padre's healing speed and range and includes his abilities. So I think the Padre is... Is essentially your second explorer. So I don't think he can die. I think he can be like he can respawn. And he heals the units as well. So it's kind of crazy. Heavy fortifications. Um, Chapel Tech Castle. Ships one fort wagon. Forts have more line of sight. Inflict extra damage against heroes. Okay, we've got the factories. This factory here, the uh, Porfiratio. Or uh, Porfirato. Arrives fast. Ships one factory wagon and gives you extra HP on them as well. Which is crazy. We've got the habanero peppers. So we had the jalapenos, and now we've got the uh, we've got the habaneros. So these arrive faster. Brief period. Villagers gather resources significantly faster. One hundred percent for sixty seconds, and their gather rate on the hacienda is increased as well. And a team card here: ships one hacienda and seven semi-fattened cows. And then we've got the ships. Spanish sympathizers ships a number of powerful um, garrochistas and enables them to be trained at forts. That's probably the Dragoon Heavy, uh, the Royal Guard unit for the Dragoons. Oh, look, we've got the Mine Allies. Look at that. 24 Mine Allies. That's you got that card or a similar card in the uh, Aztec deck. Renegade Apaches. Good old Apaches. You've got those with the States as well. I think they're big boy Lancers. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's sort of uh, the Garros. All right, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, Big Boy Lancers, sorry. Yeah, sorry, no, no, yeah, not Dragoons. Big Boy Lancers, apologies. I hear Mayor is pretty cool. Yeah, the Mayan allies are, are, are a pretty cool card. I like them in Aztecs. I don't know if they're going to be good here, but we'll have to see. And the Cantinas, upgrade saloons to Cantinas, which have Ronin and Outlaw-type units. There you go, guys. Wow, Jesus, that's it quite a while. There we go. So we've gone through all of the cards there. Tons of different things. Lots of things that can transform things into units. It can switch the... The resources required to make the unit and i think there's a lot of things here kind of crazy um quite complex i don't know if we're going to need to use all of these cards of course um but we've sort of made a deck here